Hello and welcome to another FittingSites.com screencast tutorial. In this video we're going to cover a few introductory concepts on how to create custom menus inside of WordPress. And starting off with our example site here, you can see that as we look in main navigation we have several pages for home, about us, blog, contact, etc. But truth be told they're not exactly in the order that we would like them to be in. This is actually the order that they were created inside of WordPress based on date or chronology. So if we add a page somewhere down the road, it'll always show up at the end of the row here instead of maybe where we'd like it to be. So in order to fix that problem, we're going to have to create what's called a custom menu. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to go into the dashboard of our site. Since this is WordPress 3.1, you can see that we have the admin bar at the top of our site and all we need to do is simply click on dashboard once we're logged in. If this doesn't work for you or if you're not on WordPress 3.1 all you need to do is enter your root URL followed with the words slash WP dash admin and that will take you directly to your dashboard anytime. Now, once we're in the dashboard what we need to do is we need to create our custom menu and it is located under the appearance tab in the left hand navigation obviously with the option marked menus so here we see our custom menus panel for WordPress and the first thing that you'll notice is that we need to create our custom menu up here at the top is an area to give it a name we're gonna go ahead and give this the name of main menu and once we've done that, we need to create this menu. As you can see, the main menu has successfully been created. Now, before we can actually add any pages to this, we need to tell our WordPress theme that instead of using the automatic or default menu that we already looked at earlier, that we want to specify the main menu as the menu we use. Here you can see under theme locations, we have a little drop down menu for primary navigation. And if we click on that, we can see that our newly created main menu is one of the options available. You could, in fact, have several different menus and you could choose whichever one you want to use. And also, it should be noted that in some themes, you have more than one menu location available. For this theme, the 2010 theme that ships with WordPress, there's only one menu option, which is called primary navigation. So now that we've added our custom menu to primary navigation, all we need to do is click on save and that change has been reflected up above. Now if we scroll down just a little bit here, you can see that we have a list of pages with little check boxes next to them and this actually is all of the pages that we have on our site. Right now it's just showing the most recent. You could also select view all or you could if you wanted to search for a particular page that you're looking for. In this case we're just gonna stick with view all because we only have a few pages on our site. And I know that this is gonna be a little confusing. There's an option up above called home colon home. For whatever reason, and I think this will be cleared up in future versions of WordPress, this is actually not a page so you don't want to select it. But we are going to select everything else we're going to add all of these pages to our menu. Once you've selected the pages you want to add to your menu, all you need to do is click on the Add to Menu button. And as you can see here on the right hand side, here are all of our pages in the menu. As we hover over them, you'll see that our cursor turns into a four-way arrow. And basically what that means is that we have the ability now to drag and drop the order of these to wherever we want them to go. Obviously, we probably want home to be first, followed by about us, perhaps. And again, these can go in any particular order that you want them to go in. Uh, gallery, contact, blog. You'll notice for testimonials, we actually have the ability, if we hover over it correctly, you can see that we can create automatically a drop-down menu. So if you inset your page like this, it'll show up as a drop-down option inside of your WordPress menu or you can simply drag it back out again and if it's flush with all the rest then that means it'll show up in main navigation. 
Let's go ahead and move that back into a sub page or drop down menu. And now all we need to do is just click on the save menu option once all of our changes are complete. And let's go ahead and take a look at our site. And here you can see now that we have our completely new menu order, Home, About Us, which now has a testimonials drop down, gallery, contact, and blog. Just as simple as that, we've been able to create a custom menu, arrange our pages the way that we want them to appear, and also specify which pages we'd like to appear as drop down items. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.